Hello friends, welcome to ANSYS Artistry. Thank you for joining me for another fluid art creation. So one of my previous videos, I was trying to create a rich and dark painting using reds and violets. Today I'm trying the same shades of colors, but it's going to be on a black base. So last time when I created similar painting, I used the Artist Loft soft body acrylic paint and it gave me lots of cells. Um, the painting looked okay, but it was not what I was going for. I wanted it to be dark and rich. So this time I'm going to switch the base color to black. So all these paints here, um, the exact name and brand is going to be listed in the description below and all these paints are mixed with Floetrol and water, one part paint to two part Floetrol and a little bit of water. So all of these have similar consistency. Today I'm working on a canvas size 12 by 24 inches. So I'm going to put down my black base and I will be right back. So I've put down the black base paint. I've used the torch to pop all the air bubbles. Now let's start layering the paints. Since it's going to be a dark shade on a dark base, I'm gonna start with um, white, just to make my design and keep a separation between the dark black and the dark layered paints. I'm gonna keep using the white in between, but the white that I'm gonna be using in between the um, paints that I'm going to be layering is going to be Zinc White by Amsterdam and it is a transparent paint. I'm hoping this would give me sh shades of these reds and violets and not white here. The first paint I'm going to be layering down is the Titanium White by Glick. Next is Prism Violet by Liquitex. Cadmium Deep Red Hue by Liquitex. Then I have Permanent Red Violet by Amsterdam. I'm going to add a layer of Zinc White. Next is Dioxazin Purple by Liquitex. Cadmium Red Medium Hue by Liquitex. Gold by Liquitex. Add one more layer of the Zinc White here. Next is Deep Violet by Liquitex. And the last color is Naphthol Red by Amsterdam. Just added a little bit more of the base paint, which is the black by Artist Loft, just to help the paint move a little better. So again, using the torch to pop off the air bubbles.
let's go for the dark and rich effect here. Keeping my fingers crossed, let's go. Yes, that is rich and dark. Some of these colors, the, or the violets that I have used, they are going to dry darker. So this is going to look even more darker when it dries. So let's go ahead and see if there's something that I need to fix now. I just really like how this one looks. Uh, I'm just hoping it dries up a little bit darker. Yes, it's a little bit weird because everybody wants it to dry bright, but for this particular painting, I'm hoping it dries a little bit dark. So let's go ahead and fix some of these um, edges. It looks like really how I wanted it. I just wanted to dry darker. So this seemed to be a very quick painting. I didn't have to fix anything and everything turned out just the way it has to be on first try. That's good news. So now I'll bring you down for a close up. So here is the close up. I still have to clean up my edges, but I just wanted to you to see how this one looks right away um, look at the reds and the violets they blend in perfectly and the black base is just making it more rich and dark like how I want it so the gold is going to shimmer all throughout um, really nice painting I really like this it's probably my favorite now so if you did like this video please do consider subscribing and please do hit that thumbs up button it's a great way to support my art channel i really appreciate you being here so until next time bye take care happy pouring